Hi, it's Rob from the Brush and Bulk Room. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to paint a Star Phantoms Primaris Intercessor. If you like the channel and you'd like to support me, my Coffee and Patreon page are linked below. Now on to the video. So the first colour that we're going to use is Vallejo Black. We can use this to do the body of the bolt rifle, one of the knee pads, and also all the kind of tubing that goes between the armour plate. Now the miniature itself is one from, I think, Dark Imperium. And it was originally sprayed yellow and got that kind of weird texture that you sometimes get if you don't shake the cam properly or something goes wrong somewhere. I think it was not shaking the cam properly. So it is a little bit textured this one. I've brushed the worst of it off. Now I've gone on to Citadel Retributor Armour. So if you're looking at it thinking the detail's not quite as crisp, that could be what it is. A little bit frustrating, but the techniques are still the same. You just tend to find that if it has got that texture, it seems to absorb the paint a little bit more than it should do, so that when you're painting stuff over it, it dries very, very quickly. But you can get the worst of it off with a toothbrush and a little bit of water to just give that a scrub. Or if you want to strip and start again, that's fine too. Next up, a little bit of Citadel Rackarth Flesh. I'm going to use this to do the little bit of parchment on his purity seal there. Citadel Corn Red is going to be used to do the actual wax section of the purity seal. I'm going to use Citadel Iron Hand Steel or Lead Belcher if you've got that, either works well. I'm just going to paint up a few little bits like the handle on his holster, a few little pieces of the backpack and part of the bolt rifle. Also has got those tubes on either side of his face. Like so. Next up, I'm going to use a little bit of Citadel Bane Blade Brown. I'm going to use this to do the pouches, his holster, and his belt. I really do like this as a brown base. I'll link up a couple of videos here which can be used to do different kinds of leather if you wanted to do different leather pouches. I'm going to start shading him now. I'm going to use Citadel Contrast Snake Bite Leather. This is going to be to do the areas we just put the Bane Blade Brown on. So you've got the belt and those pouches and the holster on once again. To give that a nice coat so that you can get that lovely leather look. Now I'm going to use a little bit of Citadel Carrowberg Crimson. This is going to be used to do the wax part of the Purity Seal. Now Citadel Grax Earthshade is going to be used to do the golden sections. So we've got the Aquila on the front and also on his rifle. Now the actual guide did say that it's just a very pale yellow, the Aquila on the front, but I just didn't like the look of pale yellow on white, so I just went with gold instead. Some of the other pictures on there do look like they're a bit more gold than yellow, so stuck with that. Now we're going to use a little bit of Citadel Seraphim Sepia just to do the parchment sections on that purity seal. Very quick layer. If you can hear any noise in the background, that is Linnet 2 scamping about because she's trying to get my attention. Now I'm going to use Citadel Apothecary White to paint up the armour. Now it might be worth putting the apothecary white, like pin washing it into all the recesses, but what I like to do is get the 
armor all colored like this because that way when you sort of paint on the white on the underside of the arms and things you've got that area shaded because you could actually just shade the underside of the arms more and pin wash the rest or the underside of the pauldrons but you'll see once I've redone all the white on the armor the look that that gives it so now I'm going to use Citadel Null and Oil and this is going to be to do all the metallic parts all the silvery metallic parts anyway so the parts on the bolt rifle the exhaust on his power pack a few little bits on his armour. You can hear any background noise when I'm talking here. I've got Lynette 2 on my lap now. She's purring away. I'm bashing her head into mine while I'm talking. Next up, Citadel Mephist on red. I'm going to use this to do his eyes, which I'd painted black originally, but we are doing them red. Like so. And we are going to use a little bit of Drucci Violet from Citadel to shade those. Now it's onto the white. So we're going to start redoing the armour. That does take quite a while this because of the amount of apothecary white that's been put over it rather than just doing it in the recesses and things like that so if you did give it a nice blast of normal white and then you recess shaded it, it may work out a little bit better for you save you quite a bit of time I'm sure so you can learn from my mistake there now we're going to work on the gold so we're using Citadel Retributor armor to begin with we're going to reapply some of that gold onto the Aquila on his chest and on his rifle. We're also going to leave the Agraxair shade in the recesses. Just pick out all the details there. I'm going to highlight that with Citadel Liberator Gold. So on these wings we're going to do the top edges and then we're going to do each of the kind of feathers on the top edges too. On the small Aquila, on the chest Aquila, we're going to do the outside say 50 or 60% of each of those little feathery kind of bits. Next we are adding a little bit of Vallejo Model Air Chrome to the Liberator Gold. We are doing the final highlights on the chest Aquila and also on the Aquila on his rifle. So we're going to be picking out edges and say the end 25% of each of those kind of feathery bits. Very quick layer this one really. And then just a few little parts of the top edges on the rifle Aquila. Next up, we're going to use Iron Hand Steel. We're going to recolor some of the metallics on the bolt rifle and also on the power pack. This is just to give it a bit of a shine, give it a bit of more of color, mainly because there's not really a lot going on with this miniature in terms of the color of its armor and uniform and that kind of thing. It is very, very plain. Really quite plain miniature. So I just wanted to reapply some of that iron hand steel to give it a bit more shine, a bit more colour. We're also going to use a little bit of Vallejo Model Air Chrome just to pick out some of those metallic edges, make them stand out too, to try and bring out a few more details. Like so. Now we're going to use Citadel and Mephist on red and start working on his eye lenses. Now the eye lenses you want to get about the back 
60% in a sort of moon shape going down that back edge of each lens on each side. Now we're going to add a little bit of Vallejo white to the Mephiston red. We're going to do the first highlight on the eye lens. So you want to cover about 50% of the area of the previous Mephiston red layer, just to give that a nice pink highlight there. Then added a little bit more Vallejo white to the previous mix. To lighten that again, we're going to do about 50% of the previous highlight on the lens. Slightly off camera, apologies for that. Do the same on the other lens too. Now I'm going to do one final highlight, adding a little bit more white to the previous mix. That's going to do a tiny little highlight on each side of the lens there. Again, off camera, apologies for this. There is a few sections of that on this video, which is unfortunate. Some of it was filmed while I had COVID over Christmas. I'm just using plain Vallejo white here to add a spot of light at the front of each lens and a tiny little thin highlight on top of all the other highlights that we've just put on. Now we're going to work on the black, so we're going to use Vallejo black for this. We're just going to recolor any of the areas where we may have gone over it with one of the other colors. So checking all those seals and the body of the bolt rifle, not the knee pad. Very interesting chapter, the way they have the battlefield designation and the chapter number and things like that. They have them scattered about their armour, so some people will have them on the knees, others on the shoulder pads, just to keep things interesting. So this is Vallejo German Grey, and we're going to highlight that black. So think about where the light is catching the black, and then you want to highlight that with the German Grey. And now we're going to use Citadel Mechanica Standard Grey just to highlight all the edges that will be catching a light on the bolt rifle. We're leaving the seals with just the German Grey and the Vallejo Black on it just because I want them to look dull and not too highlighted as so though it's that kind of soft, dull rubber like seal. So we're just using this on the bolt rifle, picking out all the edges and details on there. Now we're using a little bit of Citadel Balor Brown. We're going to use this to recolor some parts of the holster and the belt and the pouches. What I'm doing here is I'm going horizontal on the vertical edges and vertical on the horizontal edges and sort of 90 degrees for the angles. And this is just to give it that rough and weathered look as though it's been scraped a lot during his many years service. I'm going to mix a little bit of Citadel Rakar Flesh with the Balor Brown. And that is going to be added on here. Doing pretty much what we did last time, but over a smaller area. This is like for deeper scuffs, where the leather is scraped a lot more than just those little superficial ones with the Balor Brown. And finally, we're going to mix one final bit of Citadel Rakar Flesh with the previous mix and just do some really fine scuffed highlights to the edges here.
I'm going to use rack off flesh and we are just going to use this on the parchment for the purity seal. So we've got quite a few short layers here. You can use a little bit of white and mix that with the Rakarth flesh just to give that a highlight. I'm not actually going to paint the wax on the purity seal because it's pretty much out of sight. You can't really see that from any angle so there's not much point in giving it any more colours than the initial paint and the shade. Now I'm going to be using a little bit of Vallejo white mixed in with the previous mix just to do one final highlight on the end of those parchments. Now it's time to start on some markings, so we're going to do the battle line marking. Now they have an arrow, but rather than having the full coloured arrow that they have on a lot of Codex chapters, the Star Phantoms just have the outline of an arrow. So we're going to paint this on, then once we've got the rough shape, we're going to look at that, see where it's gone wrong, and fix that a little bit more. Also going to do the squad number on the corner of the pauldron, and do the chapter badge on the far shoulder too. I'm going to use a little bit of a layer of white just to touch this up. We will have a start to finish tutorial of the chapter badge coming up in the next week or two once I've found the footage which I seem to have mislaid which is quite frustrating because it's quite a complicated chapter badge but we will see how it goes and see if we can get hold of that again and we're going to carry on with just doing all the markings and that is that so this is what the finished Star Phantom looks like. As I say, it's quite a plain looking chapter. It's got a really complex chapter badge on one shoulder, which is really cool. I do like that, it's like an hourglass with a skull in the top and bottom. But quite pleased to have another one of the Badab Wars chapters finished. Thanks for watching, I hope you've enjoyed the video. And if you have, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future content. Also think about subscribing to some of our other social media linked below. Thanks very much. If you like the channel and you enjoy the content and you'd like to support me, my coffee and Patreon pages are linked below. Thanks very much.